What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off where we left off, uh, Manfredo Bruno, Captain Manfredo Bruno, not Admiral Manfredo Bruno, is intercepting this Russian fleet that is blocking our passage into the Baltic. And this is one of uh, a number of naval battles we'll have to fight against the Swedish and the Russians to start to create naval dominance in the Baltic. But without further ado, let's attack. So the main target is Friedemacher, which is first rate, but they do have a number that would be useful um, for our fleets. And to, well, to be honest, the fifths would be good as well, actually. To start to uh, grow our trade fleets. Or develop our trade fleets at, at the very least. I think actually the heavy first should go first. Lest. Lest the other uh, first that was ahead of her um, get too isolated on her own. There we go. Um, oh, yeah. But what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to uh, chop the recording here and bring you guys back at the commencement of battle. So, see you in a second, everyone. Right here, guys. The Russian fleet was sailing directly towards us. Then, uh, Fidemaka decided to pull a complete 180 and start sailing against the wind. So, I am bringing my first, my heavy first, and my fleet around uh, to the uh, west, according to the compass. And then we will get some fairly devastating uh, gunfire action against them. Although I wouldn't be surprised if they do change their strategy, considering that now Iolo is going to get a, uh, a good rolling broadside into the stern of Friedemacher. So Uril looks like it might be coming in to attempt to save the day, but it will not be fast enough. But this is how battle is joined. Uh, the first rate ship is out of range. Well, initially out of range. Uh, and soon um, these other ships will pay the price. Because right now it's just Eolo that's in range, but uh, soon San Sebastiano will be in range. Heavy ship firing a rolling broadside against Burillo. As much damage as you would like. Soon, San Sebastiano will begin to open fire as well. Into the stern of, of this third rate ship of a line. Ships are very vulnerable from the stern. Okay, what I might do is get you to about here, and then we can just pretty much. Uh, break up the formation somewhat and pivot more ships to just be in range of the, the, this side of the column. Because right now... Uh, so we are getting lots of ships firing. Ooh. Is Friedemacher about to start to turn to attack the second and third rate ships towards the rear of our formation? Potentially. So you... Good sir, need to make all haste. Yeah, or do or do you? 
or instead do these ships break off and instead go like this and begin to engage third rate ship of the line independently fourth the first rate ship of the line same with you chaps really you're you're actually okay to just keep firing at will here so you pivot to begin to also bombard these ships you guys all need to be full sailing it to get into that sort of position much drop our ships in a position to uh, keep the pressure up realistically can the second rates close in Poor war galleon that's taking the brunt of the fire. Uh, first rate ship, heavy first rate is on fire, so let's just. Uh... There we go. And as the ships, as these ships start to sail more into position, to be honest, you might sail a bit more sharply in along with this fella to attempt to try and get some chain shot involved. San Piero is going to engage Uril. Actually you guys can all you guys just carry on sailing. Carry on doing what you're doing. They've successfully tied up the, the heavy, more heavyweight uh, parts of my line, um, but at a cost of losing mo uh, mobility of the remnants of their fleet. Freedom Marker is, is moving to a position to protect herself, nestled in amongst all the ships, although to be honest you guys might just go more like here, because right now your guns are no value to anyone. Freedom marker. These first ships. Okay, there we go. So their formation is now shifted more to go over here. New ships move to support the heavyweights. Switch you guys to chain shot. You guys make full sail. Yolo's still on fire, so I'm not concerned about whether or not she is making the best progress. These ships keep sailing along. You guys keep sailing across in order to fire into the bulk of the ships here. 
Oh, so it could be quite a nice broadside. You just stop doing what you're doing. sort of thing better to fire at will. So if you click fire at will now, oh there we go, click fire at will now, so rather than having your foremost is gone, rather than having uh, ships that or you know guns that might potentially miss, instead have a ship that may actually be able to a put out the fire put out you know its own fires itself you just attack you just attack that ship yourself so you guys need to rotate it across and there you go the admiral's been killed Round shot, ready broadside right, pivot to the left. It's the fire that's that upset it. Fire broadside left. Fire broadside right. deal with them being surrendered. We can deal with them uh, losing those ships. So Uriel's probably going to do some some dangerous stuff. So you're still on fire, so I don't, it's kind of a bummer. So you want to manoeuvre yourself into a position like so. And you want to manoeuvre yourself into a position like so to keep firing into their stern. You drop anchor where you are. This fella can keep moving on. You can now... Okay, fire it will now. Because you can try and take out the last mast on the first rate and also do some damage to the third rate ship on the line now. I'll stop firing it well. There we go. Two masts on that ship there. Still on fire. the market is surrendered or has surrendered are you on fire you st oh, there you go you'll stop being on fire Chain shot, just to try knock out the last mast. You guys, yeah, you're okay to be doing what you're doing. Push up. surrendered everyone's surrendered except for you now you're surrendered good delicious so
I always like to select them all and then deselect the ones I don't want. So I want the first rate, I want the fifth, don't want the sloop, I want the third, I want the galleon, I want the fourth, I want the fifth. Alright, well. Not much prize money to be gained. Ordini, capitano. So this ship over here, okay. Sul ponte. Jump that fifth si, rate over to Yor Yorgi Kulik. Let's get the third rate over here. Signore. Si, signore. So my battle fleet. Go up to Bergen to refit this fleet. Go to Greenwich. And you guys can refit or attempt to. You're going to take a bit longer to refit. So we do need to take out this fleet, although most of it seems fairly damaged. Same with Malmo. Um, but the focus is to sat is to um, pacify Sweden. I'm going to send one army north to start to knock out these guys and to threaten Finland. I do also need... Well, at some point, I need to attack those guys. <laughs> That's a lot of men. A lot of men for such a not worthwhile island. Let's put our sloop to block it. <laughs> okay, good. Ah, I could take you. First rate and a couple of fourths. Apart from that, I don't think there's a lot to do. Let's check our research. Obviously, we've taken up Sana, but it's going to be destroyed. Two more turns to get abolition of slavery, then that's all the philosophy text done. As so our priest marches along, our reinforcements march into position. Yes, Prussia, continue your war against the Ottomans. Ignore me. The Ottomans are about to have a whole string of Catholic missionaries showing up on their doorstep. Mm, another fleet, Ottoman fleet, has returned. I definitely do want more ships in the Eastern Med, because right now I'd probably need to keep that fleet recruited uh, that's currently sat near Istanbul just to prevent them from um, attacking across the Straits. But that does mean I need more ships um, active in the Med to help counter Ottoman fleets when they arrive. So they should start to be seeing rebellions by uh, in, Am in Amsterdam, hopefully. Yes, you're starting to see problems, aren't you, Sweden? You're starting to see that actually experiencing some uh, problems when it comes to your national territory. Even better now Copenhagen is their new capital. Yeah. <laughs> the scholars are fleeing. We're going to upgrade or replace that uh, university with a religious school. You're going to flee northward. Still, I think that's a suitable way to go. Workers are on strike in Sweden, and now they're happy. B, because they don't have university telling them all these silly ideas. Okay, Vito, you hit that last straggler. Cost us 200 men. You guys replenish and march up. You guys are continuing to replenish and you can recruit some infantry. Let's get some West European mercenaries, but we do also need to bear in mind that they could launch an attack across this strait. Yeah, that was the third rate we were recruiting here. Okay, Iolo. You can get Admiral Ricardo Tozzi. Let's repair the fleet. You guys... Sorry, silly audio hiccup. Uh, you guys go up to Newcastle. You guys are still rebuilding or building up a fleet. 
good. Then down here in the med. First rate, a bunch of seconds. Okay, let's fill that out with a couple of firsts and a third. Because there's a whole lot of armies around here. You also bear in mind we are boosting our recruitment quite significantly. Construction report, there we go. Seminary. Build bows, got a it's been built. Or well, a new port has been built. Um, but in general, I'm quite happy with the progress that's being made. So we've infiltrated Prague. Uh Ooh, okay, let's try and see if we can increase religious unrest in Berlin. Because Amsterdam... Ah, well, at the very least, they've had to uh, exempt them from tax. So at least they're not getting income from there anymore. Yeah, well, you are a war-weary people. march you up and take out Stu Halberg. So do you want this army to take out this fleet? But right now, there's nothing immediate that needs doing. Let's hit end turn because we're about to get two fairly critical new technologies um, completed and researched. As our priests continue their march over toward territory. There we go. Only a matter of time. Let's kick off. The question is, they're not jo they're not joined by the Mughal Empire or Persia, which is important because they're two trade partners of mine. So that navy in the med is about to join up with someone okay landing don't make it to land oh they're going after spain eh fair enough Ooh, yes i will intercept absolutely uh, i can't remember what we were on the last part so i'm going to do it time to make peace with Sweden, <laughs> considering that we've taken uh, the Scandinavian peninsula, that might be possible. The enemy forces uh, landing in Spain and also generate more forces to land and attack. Oh god, we have no artillery. Well we do, but it's all... Okay, first of all, let's put the marines on one flank, select a bunch of our... all of our infantry, grenadiers on the other flank. I don't quite know why. There we go. Okay, can you go in front of that barn? No, but you can go behind it. Just about. Group up our cavalry on either flank. We've got our artillery. Prioritise the howitzers. And we need to push up. Except for obviously where these Delhi horsemen are charging to. Probably going to be you can carry on running you can form you can get out of square keep 
going. Okay. some free hits, but that's all you're going to get for free. You charge the irregulars. It shows most of these units are pretty low quality, so... go run into position then on either flank we've got mainly grenadiers Let's get our cavalry around the flanks. Let's get our quick climbing artillery to focus on other targets. Let's ignore the Pandal. Hit the Felaine, because you guys can get around and hit. Well, you guys can hit the Semak Janissary without going all the way around. So the cavalry have hit the Feline in the rear on this flank. Let's hop over to... Oh, no, no, you keep pushing through. You push around on that flank. Good stuff. You try catch the Feline. You guys hit the Pandar. Run around the flank. Two new marines managed to uh, stem them pretty well. Let's just keep cavalry moving around the flank. hit the enemy infantry in the rear. The Muslim have broke. You hit the regulars. You hit those Janissaries. Our infantry push on. They're firing shrapnel shot, which is good intelligence. Cavalry chase down those uh, uh, Muslim. You hit the Nizam. It's annoying we've got sound bugs throughout this entire battle, but there we are. Spikes facing the wrong direction to stop us, which is nice. You guys are all against the Semat. So my cavalry is not... well, it will, it will last. Hey, we got the... Okay, you hit the jungle's bodyguard, you guys get over here rapidly. Artillery fire, stop. Get my cavalry out of this combat. Chase down the Semat Janissaries. Get my infantry to chase down the Semini. Let's 
charge into that unit as much as you can. Do as much damage as possible. Let's start to knock out some of their artillery. Let's see if we can kill the general. We did, which is nice. Let's go after the janissary, janissary riflemen. Damn right, we're going to continue. We got a whole bunch of cavalry doing stuff. That's the rifleman killed. Charge on. Don't really care about that unit of Semini, not compared to the rest. And let's just speed up time. So obviously these gunners are going to be important to kill and they're dead and now it's just the general and these 12 janissaries decisive victory damn right there we go they lost an army that entire army is pretty much shattered god damn we can intercept you as well and I don't know if I will. Actually. Well, to be honest, it's pretty. It's a pretty naff army. Um, but looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. I think um, I have chopped it a few times. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time, where hopefully we can uh, destroy yet another Ottoman army. Cheers, everyone.